in the last episode. Why is it here? Um, item. Lock it. Lock the room. What were you listening to? Some tape? Yeah, for my graduation day. Yeah, I couldn't pass the bar exam, so I'm cramming at home now. There's, um, kind of a monster here? Looks like this? Ogue. Again, sometimes my head just starts hurting bad. Finally it. That's a, my, that's a big hand you've got there. Ugh. I'm alive? The monster's gone. I thought it would kill me, but it left. And so we continue. Greetings and salutations, comrades. Welcome back to the Crooked Man. Um, we have woken up from our little slumber. We are walking very slow. And there's a notice about a seminar. Seminar at uh, 921 in the auditorium. Crime among the impoverished and its prevention. Maybe impoverish them. How about that? Ivan Abelitsev's criminal behavior, a psychological approach, will be referenced, so be sure to read it before coming. Franz Moore, Professor of Criminology. 921. 921. Okay, there's no reason to go there. No reason. You can't go there. 921. Um, I think we go to the infirmary next. I think that's my next stop. I go to the infirmary, and I do the thing, and everyone's happy. Nope. Except I keep d doubling back. I hate that. I don't know if that's necessarily a game problem or a me problem, but we're going to call it a me problem. We're going to lay down here. I'll take a little nap. Pushing myself wouldn't be a good idea. There's absolutely zero chance of that monster finding me in the infirmary. <laughs> Mom? We're going sad again. Can you give me a little bit of a blue tone here? Just a little bit. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. Mom, are you crying again? Sorry, I can't do anything. I can't even console you. Okay, you can pull the blue off. Thank you. That was great. You freaking nailed it. It's perfect. A dream. Yeah, Mom always cried in the living room after I'd gone to bed at night. That was when I was a kid, though. Well, I'm feeling better now. Let's go. Wonderful. I'm going to save. Well, you know, that didn't restore as much health as I had hoped. Um, nope, that's not what I want. Hotel room, this one? No. Should I go into the lecture hall now? No. Oh, wait, no. I was I'm, I should go f read that book. Franz Moore's book. I need Franz Moore's book. 
Ivan Abletsev's criminal behavior psychological approach will be referenced, so be sure to... Criminal behavior psychological approach. Let's go to the reference room. Stop that. Where's the book? Where's the book? There it is. Criminal behavior or a psychological approach. That notice in the lecture room mentioned this. I know. I don't understand a word of it. Hmm, there's a slip of paper in here. What's the number 99814? Write that down real quick, please. Thank you. That was quick. Good job. Now, where do I put that? 9981. There's only a few places where left that need codes. There we go. 9981. Thank you. Beautiful. There's a key to the computer room inside. Let's go play CoolMathGames.com games. Oh, Nabisco Fun World. Does anyone remember Nabisco Fun World? Man, that makes me feel old. There was a monster truck game that I used to love playing. On that game, or on that uh, website. I'll never get to play it again. Laptop computer. I thought that was a mic microwave. Microwave. My microwave. Glowing trash can. Trash can is full of crumpled paper. Side note, I love that the game is glistening um, important items. That That helps. That's very useful. Thank you. The trash can is full of a crumply, crumpled paper printed by Andrew Robinson, 1442-46. You got that one written down? 1442-46, perfect, thank you. 1442-46, I don't care. Nani? Him. Friends, faculty, and staff, thank you for coming today. We're glad to have a sunny graduation to start off the rest of our lives. A future may be, the future may be uncertain for some, but the persistence we learned here will make us resolute. A round of applause. For my fellow graduates. What? The laptop, but it wasn't on. However, as valedictorian, there's something I can't help but lament. I put an extra L on that lament. It's about David Hoover. That's me. That's my name. He was highly skilled, kind to us all, and admired by pupils and teachers alike. We were all expected he would be proudly standing with us this morning to graduate. But our hopes were dashed. By none other than that man himself, hiding behind an infant, an infant, infant, hiding behind an innocent face, he's been fooling all his pupils and professors. <gasps> A collective gasp. Let me ask you all this: Should he be forgiven? Can he escape punishment for betraying his friends and mentors? I didn't think so. He should forever be punished for what he has done to grant his selfish dreams. Stop it. Stop. Okay. You are the lowest of the low. Your dreams will never come true. What are you even good for? Absolutely nothing. 
go off and die somewhere. Coward. What the fuck? Whoa! Okay, um, I think, I think David may have some un unresolved guilt or uh, a little bit of, little, little bit of anxiety, perhaps, maybe some schizophrenia. I, I don't know. I'm not a psychological person. No, I'm not a coward. I just... I just need a hug. Thanks, buddy. I needed that. I heard a... I heard a scream. What? That was you? Jeez, you made me freak. I don't remember his voice. I'll figure it out. What's the big idea, huh? Did something happen? Captain? Forget about it. Sorry to startle you. It, it's nothing. Hey, dude, you okay? You're like super pale, man. I'm just tired. I came a long way and I haven't slept. We did take that nap. Remember the power nap? Leave me alone. I can't be bothered to talk. Don't touch me. Have this. Huh? I already had a little, but it's an energy drink. Cheers. Drink up. What? S seriously? I don't need this. I told you, leave me be. Drink it! Jeez! You really look like you need food and drink. And I'm being nice, so at least accept it, will ya? Alright. Thanks. But what's all this from the guy who was calling me a shady punk? Mostly because you look like crap, dude. Come on, it's not like I'm heartless. I mean, I am trying to be a lawyer. <laughs> Besides, maybe it's fate. Tell you what, I won't call you shady anymore. Now cheer up. You could be my client once I'm a lawyer. Well, that's a quick turnaround. I'm grateful at any rate. Say, have you seen anyone else around? Particularly a man about my age? Hmm? No, nope, nobody. He's who you're looking for? Yeah, though I don't really know what he looks like. Tell me if you see him, okay? You got it. You got it. Doubt anyone would be around you, though. I don't know why I'm doing this. My head is just... just stop it. Thank you. Oh, but can I ask something too? Professor Andrew, he always helped me out, but he's on his room's on the third floor. But it's got a number lock, so I can't get in. I was thinking the professor might still have some lecture notes for me around or something, but yeah, tell me if you get it open, okay? Sure thing. I'll wander around some more then. You look like hell, so don't push yourself. Yeah, well, you be careful, too. If you see any monsters, you know, just hug them. Not this again. Sure, whatever you say, boss. I've got a knife to defend myself anyhow, okay? Smell ya. Hmm, maybe it's not as bad as I thought. Got an earner, you're drunk. 1442, 46. Making sure. Um, except I don't remember where I was supposed to use this. Oh, 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 I know where we use this. I know exactly where we use this. Exactly. I'm going to get this on the first try. Mark my words. Six digit pun. 14, 42, 46. Thank you. Nailed it. Uh, 
book, I guess. Looks like some sort of diary. Finally got done with the finals. I'm glad everyone got their appropriate grades. Of course, there's that lone D. Nope, not going there. I teach him so much, but he doesn't even get the basics. He's lagging behind everyone else, and yet he's so intent on being a lawyer. That nickname D stands for dreamer. Apparently, it was given to him for having such an impossible dream. But if you ask me, it's for the grade he'll always get. Harsh. I hate how he fawns over me, too. I practically have to act nice to him, and he always comes to, for lessons after school. I wish I'd never let him in my class. Wow, you're a terrible teacher. I just hope he gives up on his dreams soon and finds another path. What a douche. This is about D? It's awful that he'd say this about a student. Though maybe D really is that bad. If D saw this, it'd be a big shock for him. He said he respected his professor and always tried so hard. There, I tore the page out. Wouldn't want D coming in and finding this. Got a page from Andrew's diary. I'm checking the the, the timer. My timer's right there. So if I'm looking down, I'm, I'm watching the, the, the time. That's, that's what that is. Um, okay. Well, now what do I do? How did that monster get out of here? That monster's in there. I'm not going in. David? I don't think the monster's in there. Um, tell you what. Never mind. Shh. Be very quiet. Sorry. That monster's still wandering around. Is he looking for me since he couldn't kill me before? I'm gonna have to persuade Dee to leave. It's way too dangerous here. I'll go look for him. This has just suddenly turned into an ASMR. And those for th of you that have misophonia, I'm sorry. That's where we're going to end this episode. Comrades, thank you so much. You know the drill. Like, dislike, whatever. Uh... The, 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 the comments, the subscribbles, all of that fun stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next episode. So, as always, until next time.